Alright guys, welcome back to the Aberdeen Master League here on PES 2021. The league season so far hasn't been the best. It's been kind of disappointing to be honest. We're down in 8th place, but today is not about the league. It's all about the Scottish Cup. We are in the quarterfinals at home against Mullerwell. And we've got a great chance to book a place at Hamden if we can just get a win over the Steel Men or whatever the fucking the Mullerwell whatever the Mullerwell guys are called. I don't really know. They're on 29 points, they're 8 points above us in the league, but that doesn't matter a shit. It's all about the cup today. Let's get stuck in. Let's get this win. I feel like we have turned the corner though. I do feel like we are going to climb and climb and climb that league table. Just like Jack climbed the beanstalk, we're going to fucking climb this league table and take out Rangers and Celtic. Maybe that's going to happen in a couple of seasons' time, but I do believe we are going to climb into the top six, no problem this year. But with that said, let's go and take care of business in the cup. The cup is spread out very far in this, um, this whole game because, like I said, there's only like 12 teams, so there's a lack of rounds. So... If we do get into the semi-finals, we probably won't play the semi-final for like another three months, which, you know what, suits me, because I'll give us time to build momentum, and like maybe by the time we get to the semis, we'll be, who knows, maybe in the top four, or whatever. But anyway, let's get into the game, and let's try and get the win. And here's the team then for the match against Mullerwell, going with Cerny in next, bringing him in over Lewis. I don't know whether we're just going to play Cerny in the Cups, or whether we'll change it if we get into the latter stages, but for now, I'm going to bring him in and give him a game over Lewis, then we've got Hoban playing as the captain today, Constantine, McKenna, McCrory, Ferguson, Hayes, Kennedy, Wright, Watkins and Edmondson. To be fair, I don't know why Hoban's been selected as the captain there, but we will change it to McKenna. But anyway, let's get stuck in guys, and let's try and get the win. Holworth standing over this one, only a minute in, can he trouble as he can't? Ball bounces right after the head of Johnny Hayes I think, McCrory collects it. And now we're on the charge, McCrory up to Edmund, well, try to find Edmundson, pass nowhere near. McKenna gets rid of that momentarily, it's going to be... Watkins gets to that on the edge of the box, now Aberdeen on the, on the counter here, on the attack, it's Marley Watkins looking for Scott Wright, awful ball. Awful ball, but we will get a throw in out of it, so maybe we can create something here after all. Let's see. Johnny Hayes to McCrory, to Ferguson, Ferguson plays it to Kennedy, Kennedy looking for a run, tries to find Watkins, what? oh he was almost through, Kennedy to McCrory, McCrory playing it out to Johnny Hayes on the left hand side, what can Hayes do, Hayes comes back inside to Ferguson in the middle of the pitch, it's going to be Lewis Ferguson from distance and this shot is well wide of the target. It's come through. Chance! Oh, what a goal that is! There is the I don't believe it. It's, it's Craig Lang, Callum Lang. I think, I think his name's Craig. We're going to call him Cunt, Cunt Lang, because he has scored the goal here that could well put us out the cup in the quarter final stages. And I didn't think he was capable of hitting a strike that good, to be fair. And he's, he's proved me wrong. Pay care, we should have. Took more care. We were careless. Long got the ball <laughs> in, a, in a decent position, but I just thought, you know what, he's not going to strike it for here. We'll try and get a block on it. You see number four there trying to come across and get something on it. I think that's Constantine in the end. Just didn't work out. And the ball goes in past the goalkeeper. Thomas certainly no chance. And Mullerwell take the lead. Lewis Ferguson steps in, wins the ball. Played it wide to Hayes. Ed Hayes into Ed Munson. Ed Munson back to Johnny. Hayes and Hayes gets his back on uh, level terms. It wasn't even that behind for that long. It's a, it's a weird goal. It's a decent goal. 1 2 between Hayes and Ed Munson. But I'm surprised the goalkeeper hasn't been able to keep that out. It didn't look like it was the greatest shot. It wasn't in the corner. It didn't really finesse it. There was no real precision. It was just your average run of the mill shot, and when I hit it, I thought, I mean, this ain't in, keeper's going to save it, at best we get a corner. But it's actually sneaked in, so, happy days there, I'll no complain, and we're back on level terms. And McKenna, back at the Kennedy. Ferguson, back to McKenna, Kennedy, 
Back to Lewis Ferguson. Lewis Ferguson gets a shot away and it's blocked and it will be a corner. Good play there for Aberdeen. Keeping the pressure on. Can we get a good delivery in for this corner? It's in towards Scott Wright. He can't get the head on it. It looks like Muller will get away with the date. Well, we've slid in there. We've won it back in Munson. Looks at Scott Wright. Goes for the shot and he falls on his arse. What's he doing? The referee says no, but I mean, come on. McKenna gets it forward. Is there anything left for us here on this half? Ed Munson flicks it. Oh, he's trying to find Wright. Johnny Hayes. Does find right, right's ma oh, massively offside and well was he offside? I don't know. I mean right's cracked it, he's almost put it in the back of the net, but I think he was offside there and it is one one at the break, guys. You look at the stats there, has been a I'd say it's I think we have edged the game, no doubt about it, in terms of possession. We've had more, we've created more chances, we've had a lot more of the ball in the attacking third. A lot more than Mullerwell have, but I mean, Mullerwell are right in this, and when they do go forward, they do look like they could score, so, I mean, this game is still evenly tied here, and it could go either way. Hayes picks it up. Looking for, oh, I don't know who's looking for, the, oh, he's not going to find anyone. May as well be looking for fucking Santa Claus, guys. December was last month, he's no here, he's gone. And whoever that <laughs> whoever was supposed to be on the receiving end of that ball was also gone. Just brushed off the ball there. But they've got another one here, so who knows? Can they take advantage of this one? Another free kick in the edge of the box, but we'll have a look here. Does O'Hara really get touched? When he thought that was bad, try being a kid at Celtic Park, then that's what's really getting touched is, but uh referee somehow for some reason gave the free kick. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, man. Soon they mention Celtic, as soon as you mention Celtic, goals are going, what the hell's happening here, it's Polworth. Oh man, he's done the damage, 2-1. I don't even think it was a free kick, like, but we, now we need to bounce back, certainly had no chance. Surely brought down, and referee again says no. Oh no. Well, uh, Hoban's made a challenge there late on, and um, I cannot see how that's not a red, and it is. Thomas Hoban goes into the referee's book. It has to be, come on, let's be real, it has to be. I don't even think I had to make it, I think the goalkeeper will make the save regardless. I think Cerny would have got the job done, but I took it out of his, <laughs> I took it out of his hands. McKenna just about gets enough on the block there. McKenna, they plays it out to Watkins, Watkins to McKenna. McKenna to Edmondson, Edmondson back to McKenna, McKenna. Oh, he's trying to play in right, and right gets a shot away. Oh, out of nowhere, right, oh, almost. Yeah, here we go, going to make the subs. I think we have, to, we have to bring on Cosgrove, we need to. I mean, let's be real. I know he's not really done that much for us, but <laughs> he is the main man. <laughs> we're, we're about to go to the cup here, so it has to be done. Shot blocked off the wall. Great for Constantine, comes across, wins it. There's Windass. But Windass just got brought on, he cannot lose it there. He does lose it there though, and Thomas certainly can't make the save, and Mullerville take a 3 1 lead, and I think, guys, I think we are going out the Scottish Cup here. It's Craig Long again, and it's Windass who loses the ball, and with that, he may lose us a place in the Scottish Cup semi final. Cannot lose it there. We were eager to get ahead on the counter, but maybe we were too eager and we've ended up losing it when really there was still some time left. We didn't need to panic that much, but we did panic and it's came back to bite us in the ass. It's Mullerwell 3, Aberdeen 1. Kennedy finds McLennan, McLennan to Windass. Windass to Cosgrove. Cosgrove shoots and it's, uh, it's had all the... <laughs> Oh, the fan I'm taking out it. Windass gets the ball back. Plays in McKenna, McKenna. To right. To Cosgrove, Cosgrove. Cosgrove shoots, Cosgrove scores. 
And we're back in it. Hurry up, Sammy boy. Grab that ball. Let's go. Maybe there's life left in this game yet. 3-2. With just under 13 minutes to go. It's a poor mistake from Mullerwell. Give him the ball away. And a needless position. Did not need to do that. And then Scott Wright finds Sam, Sam Cosgrove and he buries it. Just brought him on and he scores. So maybe he should have started. But let's see what he can do in the remaining 12 and a half minutes. Great goal. Kennedy. In towards Windass. Windass now. Windass to McKenna. McKenna through to McLean and McLean and shoots. He can't direct on target. Awful. Has to do better. Oh no, he's played off. He's played a bit. Oh man, I can't believe that. He's played. Oh, we've won it back with Ferguson. And he's played off Windass again. And now they can launch a counter. Deftly done. Cerny needs to get that. Cerny needs to get that, and he just about gets a save on it. Four minutes added on time, three minutes remaining, and Cerny keeps us in this game here. Just about comes out and gets a, a knee or a leg or, or gets something on this. I think it's a knee, and it's good. Hayes, McLennan, Cosgrove, he was there, and he's not got the ball. It's poor in the end. We needed a better pass than that. We didn't get it. And we have been humped. Out of the Scottish Cup. In the quarterfinals. We entered in the quarterfinals. We exit in the quarterfinals. So disappointing. So disappointing. Deserved more out of the game, I think. Should have got more. But in the end, we didn't. We end up as losers. Familiar story for us. Well, to be fair, Mullerwell second half, probably. Did enough to get the win. Got to be real here. But look at those other results. Jesus Christ. St Mirren have knocked Rangers. Out of the uh, Scottish Cup. Shocker. Absolute shocker. Celtic advanced to the semis by beating Dundee United. And Hibs also advanced by beating Kilmarnock. So that means the semi-finals are looking like this. St Mirren will take on Hibernian for a place in the final. While Mullerwell will play Celtic. So... One of those four will be your Scottish Cup champions this season. Hibernian have come in with a transfer offer for Joe Lewis and straight away we can go ahead and reject that. I mean, what were they thinking? Absolutely no way are uh, we, we going to sell Joe Lewis, especially not to Hibernian. Millwall have come in for a bid for Marley Watkins. It's not even his market value, so again, why would we sell? He hasn't been that great for us, if I'm being honest, but... I just can't really, can't really get behind selling him at this rate. He is 31 years old, he is 67, he's not going to improve. Like, I mean, I would be willing to sell the guy, but we, we will try and negotiate. We'll try and uh, renegotiate. Let's see here. I, I mean, he's worth more than that. We'll ask for... Well, they say I can't go higher than that. I don't really think... Mm, nah, we're not going to sell him for that amount. I mean, that's, that's it's less than his market value. So we'll go ahead and end negotiations. Right, guys, so here we go. There is the team to take on St Mirren. Joe Lewis is coming back in after we rejected that offer for Hibs. No way he's going. He's going to he's going to remain a Dons at least until the end of the season. But anyway, let's go out and try and get the three points here against the Buddies. Ferguson. Ferguson. Oh my god, Lewis Ferguson almost scoring a belter. The big man finds Hedges. And Cosgrove's been absolutely murdered there in the middle of the field, so we'll, we'll get a free kick for this. Not a lot we can do with it, but I guess we'll just retain possession. Cosgrove then wins it to right. Right to Johnny Hayes. Cosgrove back to Hayes, it's good play. It's Johnny Hayes! It was a great save for Alnwick. My god, Johnny, what do you need to do to score here? It's great attacking play. But we just can't seem to find that goal at the moment. I thought Johnny was going to find it, but so what a, what a one-handed save. That guy must do a lot of masturbating to have strong hands like that. Jesus Christ, I don't know how he's kept it. But anyway, Kennedy, can he get the ball back in? Cosgrove's there. Jumps for it, doesn't he get it? We're running out of time, it's Constantine. To Johnny Hayes. Johnny Hayes trying to find Cosgrove. McCrory. Oh, it's McCrory again. 
McCrory's cross. Can Hayes get to this? No, it's going to be a throw in, so we're keeping the pressure on. We're keeping the pressure on, but can we do anything with this here? It'll be the last uh, play of the first half. Back to Hayes. Hayes goes for the back post. Hedges is there. Hedges! Oh my god, he rises above the St. Mirren defence but puts it wide. What a first half, fellas. I don't know how we're no winning. Honestly, you might be thinking it's the same familiar shite. We we're crap, we can't score, but. I mean, this is. Di well, hold on. Those stats must be broken. It says we've only had two shots, and that just cannot be right. I feel like I've absolutely pummeled them. But anyway, 78 possession. We're dominating in terms of that, but come on. I've had about 20 chances. How can I only have two shots? That doesn't make any sense. Hayes flicks over to right, right. Trying to find McCrory. It's found Hayes though. Hayes to right. To McCrory. McCrory whips it in. Cosgrove's there. They can't get it. Kennedy. Ferguson. Hedges. To Ferguson. Lewis Ferguson. Oh my god. Don't believe it. I don't fucking believe it. It's just not meant to be, is it? Ferguson, come on this time, looking for Scott Wright, he think he's found Scott Wright, he might have actually found Scott Wright, and Scott Wright gets the ball, Scott Wright, Scott Wright, oh my god, the Scott shot is saved again, well, what a save that is, Joe Lewis, he's had nothing to do, but he keeps us at level here, we had a fantastic save, and now we're on the counter, McCrory, trying to find Hayes, it's a bit over hit, but we're going to keep it in, it's Scott Wright, Scott Wright gets away from his man, Wright gets it in, oh my god, I give up, I give up, how the hell are we no scoring here, Ferguson to McCrory, it's Kennedy, Matty Kennedy strikes it into the hands of Alwick again. Ferguson up towards Cosgrove, Cosgrove trying to find Hedges, no quite. Constantine comes up, wins it, great ball. Hedges plays it to Kennedy, Kennedy to Constantine, Andy Constantine, oh my, no, you're, no, no, I'm not accepting this. Kennedy trying to get it into Hedges, Hedges is still there and Hedges can't come away with it. That's right. Has Scott it Wright, it's Ed Munson! Oh yes! Oh yes, finally! We just brought Ed Munson on. It's took us 82 minutes, but we have got the goal. And we can celebrate St Mirren. Negative bastards, never trying to score in this game. Just happy to sit 10 men behind the ball. And it's came back to bite them in the ass, because we finally, a hard work, are attacking. Fucking bombardment. The St Mirren defence has finally paid off, and it's a good cross in there for Scott Wright. He picked out Ed Munson, Ed Munson in at the near post, puts it past Alwick, and it is 1 0. And that's easy there for Joe Lewis. And he'll launch it up now, trying to find Hedges here. He cannot win the header, and that's it, guys. Full time whistle. We've ended up winning the game by one goal to nil. We will take that all day long. We got unlocked an achievement as well, so happy days, but there you go, hard fought victory, we kept having to push and push, dominating the game, we didn't give up, and in the end, we finally get the goal we deserved, and we've won this game by one goal to nil. You'll get the stats, St Mirren had one shot the entire game, it would have been sick had they got anything out of that, thankfully for our sake they didn't, and that gets us a, a crucial three points in the league. Uh, you can see the other results, the old firm teams winning as per usual. The results that matter to us, so Mullerwell got beat, thankfully for that. Rangers beat them two goals to nil, and Hibernian drew, so maybe our hopes of trying to catch Hibernian for third place are not over. You see that win then moves up to 24 points. We are now only six, uh, six points off Kilmarnock in fourth place, and a further 11 points behind Hibernian in third. Third's the target, that's the aim. It's still trying to get there. I know it's going to be hard, but I think third is probably still doable, I think it's still doable, whereas I'll, I'll admit, first and second is totally gone at this stage. Right guys, and that's going to do us then for this episode of the Aberdeen Mass League, out next time, 
We will be taking on Motherwell. We'll be trying to get revenge for them knocking us at the quarterfinal in the Scottish Cup. So make sure you tune in to see that one. Hopefully we can absolutely tank them. I mean, look at that. We've another two games at Pataudry here. We just won that one at St Mirren. So hopefully we can get another two wins here in Pataudry and get us another six points on the board. And then we'll be chasing down those teams of ours. But anyway, guys, that's it. Until next time. Peace.